Welcome back to the Meadowlands, everybody. We're ho the home of the Giants, where they're inside practicing for their big trip to Dallas. A much anticipated game this weekend. It's much anticipated because you'll remember that this is the one that Jerry Jones invited all the Cowboys fans to come out to so they could watch his team beat the Giants' asses. That's been a topic inside the building all week long. You can be sure of that. The Giants, of course, are 3-0 at Cowboys Stadium, the $1.2 billion palace that Jerry Jones built. That's been sticking in Jerry Jones' craw, no doubt about that. And the Giants want to make it 4-0. Here are the three keys to how they can make that happen. Number one is they have to find a way to stop Tony Romo. Keep in mind, though, they almost never find a way to stop Tony Romo. The Tony Romo that you know is the guy that throws five interceptions on national TV or bobbles a snap here or there or just comes up small in big games. He is basically Eli Manning when he plays the Giants. He gets in shootouts. He plays well. He makes a lot of trouble for them by running out of the pocket. They have to find a way to stop him. Otherwise, I guarantee you, this is going to be a game. He is the equal of Eli Manning in a lot of these games, and that's not supposed to be the way it is. You know, Tony Romo, he's, a, he's an excellent quarterback in my eyes. You know, I, I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves. Um, you know, when I watch film on him each and every night, you know, some of the throws he makes, you know, I still, you know, it, it just still stuns me. Um, He's very, very accurate. That's your first key. The second key is they have to keep Eli Manning upright. The Cowboys have a pretty good defense, and they've got a lot, a guy who can create a lot of problems in DeMarcus Ware. They don't want to have him get loose on Eli Manning because they're going to need to throw the ball to stay with Tony Romo, especially if he can make it a game. Now, Eli Manning has had some great games against the Cowboys, but he can only do that if the offensive line can keep him clean, as they have for most of the season so far. They've been doing a lot of things well and, you know, continuing to do that. And, um, you know, we have to bring our A game. We know they're, you know, good defense. And the number three key for the Giants is going to be stop the Cowboys running game. The Cowboys ran all over them on opening night. Now it's not going to be as easy for them. They've got some injury problems with both of their running backs, DeMarco Murray and Felix Jones. We're not sure yet who's going to be playing for them. But either way, the Giants have a tendency, as you all saw last weekend against the Redskins, to give up a lot of yards on the ground. If they do that, that's just going to make things even easier for Tony Romo. So they're going to need to shut down that rushing attack, try to make this a one-dimensional game for the Cowboys. That puts the ball in Tony Romo's hands, and then they hope they can create a few mistakes. Um, you know, I think it starts with, just like for us, us stopping the run. It starts with them being able to run the ball because the play-action game off of that and the, and the three-step opens up because of the running uh, ability. And then if you don't have that, if you take that away, then it, it closes up some of the passing options. Um, so it starts there, and then obviously when he can extend the play, um, he gets out of the pocket a lot, and, and he keeps his eyes downfield and is, is good on the run. So, If they do all that, maybe they can avoid that ass kicking, and maybe they can come home 4-0 in Cowboys Stadium and be in absolute control of the NFC East. Make sure you check back to the blue screen on Sunday night and Monday morning to get the recap of the game and all the inf injury information and everything else you need to know about the Giants and Cowboys.